What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be creating the second form for our race controller. So we've already got the first form figured out to create and now we're going to worry about the second one. And because they're so similar, I am just going to put this one to the side and I'm gonna do a lot of copying and pasting. I know it kind of goes against the rules of being a programmer, but uh, sometimes you just got to save some time and in this case we're going to go ahead and just paste those over and then we're going to go to our post and we're going to do the same thing so instead of having this we're going to have the race and we're going to change this one to race and we're going to do so let's see race repository go ahead and toss that in there does not exist in the current context. Repository. Great. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. instead of worrying about the copying or the spelling, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So now go in here, toss in the same one, and it looks like everything has worked out great. And Next, we need to go into here, and I'm going to put that right there. Okay. So first, just going to go to add. We're going to go to add view, and we're just going to call this one create CSHTML. Great. So first we got to bring in, always got to remember to bring in your model. So we're gonna go model and then we're gonna go race. And then we are just going to bring this one over here. So I got create and this one, I'm actually going to bring that one over here. So here in a we can just go ahead, just copy and paste that into there. And it is looking good. Also, we need to change this to the race category. Let's see here. Great. Bring that into there. And this should automatically be, be brought in uh, for the race category. So let's go ahead in here and let's test it. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of these. Then I'm going to go up to our actual controller right here and I'm going to set a breakpoint because naturally these whenever you create a form and you go to actually you know hook up these forms there's almost always some type of validation issue and sometimes it's better just to um, just anticipate issues expect the unexpected okay so go here and our uh, Races page is working, and then we're going to go create. So go just type in some bogus information. We're going to make it an ultra marathon. It's going to be located on Main Street. It's going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to go ahead and submit. Let's see what happens. Model state is valid. Goes in here. Boom, created. So go in here. And let's go ahead and check in our table, see if it actually showed up. Great, our bogus data showed up. We are good to go. That was it. That was like an easy win. But um, another thing that I forgot to explain is what is model state? Uh, we actually didn't really have that many issues. So what is happening is when you post data to this form, so we'll just go ahead in here and we'll go into 
just right click, go to inspect. We go to our network tab, then we go to our create. This is important. So you go in here, we're just gonna put in all this bogus data. You go street, you go state, and I'm gonna clear this out and show you what actually happens when you post. So it sends this create and within the actual data, there's, there's form data. So if we were to look at this, like if we were, if we were to look at it without the being parsed or making it look pretty, this is exactly what it looks like. It looks like just all this jumbled data, but when you parse it, it looks like this. So this is what's being sent up to the server, and this is what's actually being sent to your C sharp code. When this enters into here, this is what it looks like. And what's happening is that ASP.NET brilliantly enough is going through and it's checking to make sure that these um, values are matching. It's just gonna go boom, 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 boom. All right, is this one good? Is this one good? Is this one good? And if it's not, you get this uh, dictionary type of data structure that comes with ASP.NET that's going to tell you if you have any validation issues, if you, um, if a value is not matching. So if you try to send up an int and it's not an int and you try it and it's like a string, it'll give you a validation error for that. If you don't send up the correct type of data, you can do that. Um, and this also brings me to the topic of model validation. So model va validation is when you go up into here and you type in things like you can have something that will say phone uh, number or you can have a phone number attribute or you can have something that um, has like a reg regular expression in it and what's happening is that it's going to check that data structure and just kind of go in there and just check each individual one um, and if it's not valid it's going to give you that model state error and when we have a model state error what happens is that it shows up here as a validation issue. So all of this is already hooked up. And if say, for instance, we submit an address and it doesn't meet the requirements of an address, it will show a model state uh, validation error. But anyway, that's going to be the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.